Hi, well, Steve here. In this video, we're going to take a look at binary numbers. Now, computers work in binary, and IP addresses are in binary. And in my experience teaching networking, uh, many students struggle with IP addresses because they actually lack a, a basic understanding of, of binary numbers, or because it was a long time ago that they actually looked at binary numbers. And an understanding of binary numbers and how to convert between binary and decimal is essential for anyone who's involved in computers and computer networking. Now there are various uh, number systems that uh, are in use and that you need to be uh, familiar with. There's the binary system which is a base 2 system, uh, the decimal system which is the one we're all familiar with, the one we use every day, which is a base 10 system. Uh, there's an octal which isn't really used much anymore which is works in the base 8 and there's the hexadecimal which again is in use and you need to be aware of and that uses base 16 but uh, we'll talk about the, the number base in, in a second okay decimal numbers now decimal numbers we should all be familiar with they're the ones we use uh, day to day and that's the reason I've chose to talk about them first because I'm going to use them to introduce the concepts that we're going to use when we talk about uh, binary when we talk about hexadecimal numbers now hexadecimal uh, sorry decimal numbers use base 10 uh, which means they've got 10 possible values and those values are 0 to 9 so 0 1 2 etc and if we look at a, a, a typical number here I've got a three digit number 129 is actually 129 and we can write it like this we can write it as 100 plus 20 plus 9, which is 129. Now, the minimum value we have with three digits is 0, and the maximum value we can have with three digits is 999. Now, what happens if we want to go above 999? Well, we need to add an extra column onto the left, and we call this the thousands column. I've rewritten our number here, and 129, and I've put in here that the 9 is actually the units column the 2 is the tens column and the hundreds sorry the 1 is in the hundreds column so that's 100 that's 20 and that is 9 now above it I've used uh, another notation and this is the power notation and this is 10 to the power 0 which is represents the units 10 to the power 1 which represents the tens and 10 to the power 2 which represents the hundreds and you should notice that as we go from right to left, we multiply the number on the right by 10. So this is 10 times 1, which is 10. And then we go to 100, which is 10 times 10, which is 100. And if we went over to the left, we'd have 10 times 100, which would be 1,000. So this column here, which I haven't done yet, would be the thousands column. The 2 here isn't actually 2. It's 2 times 10 which is 20 and the 1 here isn't 1 it's 1 times 10 which is 100 okay so we're going to use this same concept when we talk about binary numbers so binary numbers now they use a base 2 and they only have two values nice and simple 0 and 1 and usually it's represented in a computer by on and off and we can assign column values like we did with our decimal but this time we use, have to use 2 and not 10 as the base so instead of writing 10 to the power 0 which is the units we write 2 to the power 0 which is the units 10 to the power 1 which is the tens this, this becomes 2 to the power 1 which is 2 10 to the 2 which is 100 becomes 2 to, to the 2 which is 4 and 10 to the 3 which is 1000 becomes 2 to the 3 which is 8. If we write a, a typical binary number we got 101 here and I've put the power notation above it and so we've sort of got 2 to the 0, 2 to the 1, 2 to the 2 and this is the units 2's and this is the 4's column so it's not the units the 10's and the 100's net anymore it's the units the 2's and the 4's and this number here, the maximum I can represent with three binary numbers is 1, 1, 1, which equates to 4 plus 2 plus 1, which is 7. 
Now there are eight possible values and the eight possible values are one, 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 all the way up to zero, zero, or down, should I say, zero. So we've got zero, 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 all the way up to one, one, one. So which represents eight possible values. Work our way from right to left. The one isn't, the one is actually a one because it's in the units column. And this one here isn't a one, it's a four, as it's in the fours column. So we've actually got one plus one, which is decimal five. So this binary number here equates to the decimal number five. Okay, so uh, let's have a quick recap. Um, 101 converts, to, one, binary 101 converts to decimal five, and we have one times one, zero times two, and one times four, which makes it uh, five. And the maximum value we can have with three binary digits is 111 which is decimal 7 and it's calculated as shown below we have 1 times 1 1 times 2 and 1 times 4 and a few more examples here we have uh, binary 1011 and that is 1 times 1 1 times 2 0 times 4 1 times 8 which is decimal 11 and all ones equates to decimal 15. So here's a couple to try yourself. You may want to pause the video while you do it. So we got 1001 which is 1 times 8 and 1 times 1 which is 9 and we have 1 times 8 uh, 1 times 4 which is 12. There. Okay, so now we're going to do it the other way around. We're going to go from decimal to binary. It's a little more tricky in this direction. So let's start with an example. We're going to use decimal 10, and we're going to convert decimal 10 into a binary number. Now, the way you do it is using, or the way I do it, so should I say, is use this, the following table. Um, basically, it's a table of uh, two powers. So we start off start off at this side. We have 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, all the way up to 128, because we're normally dealing with 8 bits, and we'll look at 8 bits later on. Um, now, what you do is you find the nearest number to 10, um, which is 8. So that's 2 to the power 3. 8 is 2 to the power 3. See there, there's our 8. And we subtract it from the 10, and we get left with 2. And 2, it's not shown on the slide, is effectively 2 to the power 1. Now, what we do now is we do exactly the same, and it's not shown on the slide, so we take the 2, and we subtract the next number we count from 2, which is 2, and it leaves us with a 0. So our number is 1, 8, no 4s, 1, 2, and no units, and it looks like this in binary. Okay, another example, let's go 13. So 13 is a 1, 8, plus 1, 4, no 2s, 1 unit, and it looks like this. And 7 in binary is 0, 8. 1, 4, 1, 2, and 1 unit, and it looks like this. So here again, a couple of examples that you want to try. So you may want to, again, pause the video while you do it. And here are the answers here. A 9 is 1, 8 plus 1 unit, which is 1, 0, 0, 1. And 3 is 0, 8, 0, 4, a 2, and a 1, 0, 0, 1, 1. So that's binary, sorry, that's decimal to binary conversion. And we've been, at the moment, we've been using three and four digit numbers. Computers and networking, you, we use 8 bit numbers, and we're going to look at 8 bit numbers now. You commonly known as a byte, also as an octet, and there's a wiki article if you look it up. Uh, I'll provide the link in the video details or description. Byte is the more commonly used term, but octet is, uh, according to wiki, is the more accurate. Uh, I tend to use byte. The largest number we can have is all ones, which is equivalent to decimal 255. So, there. Yeah. And it's calculated as 1 times 128, 164, 132, etc. All, all the way down to 1, giving you decimal 255. 
let's have another 8-bit number and this time we got 0, 1 etc and the way I write it here I write it with the powers of the using the power notation so we've got 2 to the power 0 and 2 to the power 3 5 and 7 and so this is the units this is the twos this is the fours this is the eights etc um, there's a mistake there that should actually be there okay so what this translates to is 1 times 1 1 2 no 4s 1 8 no 16s 132 164 and no 128s so it equates to decimal 107 so we have a 64 a 32 8 2 and a 1 107 And another example, we're going to go decimal 200, and decimal 200 is 128 plus 64 plus 8, which is equal to, that should be 2 to the power 7, 2 to the power 6, and 2 to the power 3, there's a, there's a, it should be written up there. Get rid of that, make it look better. Okay. Okay, so it's 2 to the power 7, 2 to the power 6, and 2 to the power 3. Okay, which is 1, 0, so 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0. Now, once you're used to do it manually, then it's obviously much easier if you use a calculator. You can find one on Windows, and here we just type in the binary numbers. You can see we're in binary here, and there's a binary number. And then you just click on the decimal to convert it to decimal. If you want to go to hexadecimal, you go here. Octal, you go here. And this is what this number translates to in decimal. Now, hexadecimal numbers, they use base 16. They require 4 bits, maximum value of 15. And they introduce the letters A, B, C, D, E, and F, which F is 15, E is 14. Uh, all the way down to A which is 10 and in binary uh, we have 0, 0, 0 which is 0, 0, 0, 1 which is 1 and 0, 0, 1, 0 which is 2 um, I had to miss the rest out so I can fit on the slide now A is an 8 plus a 2 which is 10 and a B is 11 which is an 8 plus 3 and a C is 12 which is an 8 plus 4 all the way to 15 which is 8 plus 4 plus 2 plus 1 which is equal to 15 that's 15 now okay a byte or 8 bits can be split into two hexadecimal numbers so we have ff which is equivalent to all ones and is equivalent to decimal 255 and here we have f0 which is the first four bits are 1 and the next four bits are 0 and that equates to decimal 240. Now you'll see this used quite a lot. Um, you go and look at your MAC address, you'll see hexadecimal numbers. Just to finish off, a couple of questions that you can do yourself. FE in binary, uh, this one in binary number, convert to hexadecimal, and this one convert to decimal, and finally convert 200 decimal into binary. You'll find the answers in the description. I'll give you the answers later. So that's it. It brings to the end of the video. If you've got any comments, then leave them in the comment box below. If you like the video, use the like button below, and you can subscribe to the channel if you want to be notified of new videos. And also on the website, you can subscribe to the newsletter if you're you're interested. And there's the address of the website here. You'll find it also in the description. There's also a link in the description to the tutorial, the written tutorial on the website, which covers uh, binary numbers. Okay, until next time, bye.